let's dig into the SolidWorks RX tool. There are a few ways to open the SolidWorks RX tool. I can go down here to my search menu and type in RX. You'll see it pops up right here. I could also select Start, All Apps, and scroll down to the SolidWorks Tools folder. And you'll see the RX tool listed about halfway down in the SolidWorks Tools folder. I can also go to SolidWorks CAD itself go up to the top right hand corner in the help button which is the question mark with the circle around it and you'll see about two-thirds of the way down you'll see the SolidWorks RX menu item when first opening the SolidWorks RX tool you'll see it takes me to the home page there are a few safe modes in the lower section of the home page that can be very useful for diagnosing specific issues if you select the first safe mode, it'll launch SolidWorks in a new session in OpenGL mode. This can be useful for diagnosing GPU issues. The second safe mode will launch SolidWorks in a new session using the default settings. Let's move on next to the Diagnostics tab. The Diagnostics tab is going to give you a lot of different information regarding your SolidWorks setup and in relation to your computer's configuration. You can use the key at the bottom to go through this list and verify different aspects of your setup. The next tab you'll see at the top will be the System Maintenance tab. You can review these settings here in the folder locations and make sure that these locations exist. You can also select the Start Maintenance button to go through and review these further. The next tab is the Problem Capture tab. When you select the Problem Capture tab, the RX tool is automatically going to start compiling different information such as system event logs, crash data, SOLIDWORKS journal file, etc. After the RX tool is done compiling the initial logs, let's go through each section to fully capture and reproduce an issue. Let's start with capturing a video. We can select a source which could be SOLIDWORKS itself or my entire display if I wanted to choose a certain monitor. Now we're ready to record a video of the issue I'm seeing and try to reproduce that issue during the video. I'll go ahead and select record video. SolidWorks will ask me if I want to open a new session or use the current session. That's up to you depending on how you want to reproduce the issue. I'll just say use current session. Next you can click record. Try to reproduce the issue that you're seeing, then click finish. Let's go ahead and click finish and it'll take me right back to the RX tool. The next section pertains to packaging up log files and everything that the RX tool has gathered so far, as well as any SOLIDWORKS files that I may want to include. I'll go ahead and include some other files. I'll click add files. I'll go to browse, find the files. The files happen to be on my desktop. I'll add a test part. I'll click Add Files to Package. Now I'm ready to package all of these files into the zip file. It's going to direct me to the default location for the RX zip file. I'll go ahead and click Save. Next it's going to ask me if I want to continue to Step 3 and describe the problem in text form or if I want to go ahead and just locate the zip file and send that file on. It's always good to include as much information as possible, so I'll continue to step 3. Now the Describe button is available. I'll select Describe. It opens up with a window that allows me to describe my issue in text form, give a summary and an impact level to my business. When I select OK, it'll take me back to this RX window and allow me to create a new problem capture or go ahead and exit the RX. I'm done with my problem capture, so I'll select Exit. Next, I'll go ahead and open the RX tool back up. And let's take a look at the next tab, which is the Reliability tab. In the Reliability tab, you'll see color-coded icons at the top pertaining to past dates where I can go back and see what happened with my SOLIDWORKS sessions. I can also reference Windows events down below and try to track down if there's an issue. A red dot will mean a crash, so I might see a red dot and I might go back and look at that crash. I can see the logs down here. You can see the orange dots 
pertain to when I killed SolidWorks using the task manager. All of this is really good information to go and diagnose an issue further. The final tab that we'll take a look at is the SolidWorks Performance Benchmark tab. You can compare your scores at the end to see how your computer stacks up against other computers running similar SolidWorks configurations. And that concludes the SolidWorks RX tool and problem capture overview.